on this episode of burnout we're gonna take the cherry can't and we're gonna make it the cherry can go off-roading right here at 508 international let's see what we break first haven't seen this 2000 Jeep Cherokee Sport before, this is the Cherokee can't because it can't. Wow. Despite looking like a solid off-road machine with an oil leak, history of overheating, no rear brakes, and a unibody crumbling to pieces, the Cherokee can'ts ability to perform is questionable at best. But we wanted to take this thing jeeping, you know like Jeeps should. In classic burnout fashion, we made a list, all of which you can find links to tutorial videos and specific parts in the description of this video. And if you want to dive even deeper into the Cherokee or another burnout show car, check out burnoutshow.com fleet. First, we tackled the four wheel drive linkage located underneath the car, which is a known problem for these XJs. We then installed LED fog lights into the front bumper and replaced the very worn sway bar bushings. When changing the oil, we decided to drop the entire oil pan and install a new oil pan gasket to try and fix the small oil leak we kept seeing in the driveway. Once that was checked off, we moved on to the front brake assemblies of the Jeep. The Cherokee received new front brake knuckles, axle hubs, rotors, calipers, and brake pads. And this process takes a while, so good luck. <laughs> the much needed upgrades seemed to be time consuming, but was nothing compared to what had happened to the rear of the car. This is when you know the trailer hitch is bad. It should be bolted here in some of these spots, but whoever installed it realized that the threads were bad, so they just welded it up top here. And this is junk. But what's even worse is that it's cutting into my gas line area. This is where the gas line comes through and connects to the gas tank. That whole wiggle, that's not supposed to happen. That's just me pulling on the trailer hitch. The hitch now has to be removed and the unibody needs a major structural repair. What seems like a simple fix turns into hours of cutting, grinding, bending, fitting, then welding, grinding, more welding, more grinding and painting the rear underside of the car. This is why people tell you not to buy a Jeep, I think. But I don't listen. Those people aren't fun. We topped off all the repairs with a new rear wiper and an absolutely unnecessary touchscreen single DIN radio. Man, what a process to own one of these things, I'm telling you. It's kind of insane. I love it, but sometimes you just want to drive it off a cliff. Finally, the day before off-roading, we had two things left on our list to do. One, fix the passenger door window that wouldn't roll down. And two, paint the roof of the Jeep because the nice bed liner paint was wearing off. But what did we end up doing? Installed a pissing figurine hood ornament that connects to the windshield washer pump and makes the kid pee with the flick of a switch. With close to zero confidence, we drove the Cherokee to 508 International. This off-road park is on private land and holds various different outdoor events. We met up with other Jeepers who had much more qualified off-road Jeeps. You know, like Jeeps with cut fenders, bigger suspension, and massive tires. Despite being dubbed as the stock Jeep for the day, we joined in and did as much wheeling as we possibly could. This is a place where Jeeps come. And so far we've seen nothing but lifted vehicles <laughs> and the Chevy Caprice or something. I think I'm running 31s or 32s, I can't remember, but it, it by far looks like one of the smallest tires that are here. And I think that we're gonna do some mudding, we're gonna do some rock crawling, and hopefully some drifting on some trails and ultimately just have fun, try not to destroy the car, and have a good time.
good if you bypass the bypass pulley. So that's what I was thinking, but you got this, you got two idlers here, and it has to go over this idler. I don't think, yeah, there's no way that I would get Beautiful bald head. There. James, this thing can do it. <laughs> it won't. <laughs> we won't do this. Either that or we're going to be here for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> currently off-roading in Jay's Jeep. Jeepin' was an absolute blast. 
and we certainly will be going again in the future. 508 International turned out to be a great spot to try our Cherokee off-road. The toilet 4x4 Jeeps are fantastic, and the group of people that drive them are even better. If you have a vehicle that could go off-road, we highly suggest you give it a try. Off-roading is loads of fun, and if the Cherokee can't can do it, I'm sure your car could too.